Hey everybody, welcome to SwimUniversity.com. My name is Matt Giovanisi, and today I'm going to show you how to close an in-ground swimming pool. Booyah! The first thing we're going to do is make sure the pool is as spotless as possible, alright? So that means you're going to skim it, you're going to brush it, and you're going to vacuum it, and you're going to just make sure that it's perfectly clean and check the pH and alkalinity and make sure that's balanced as well. The next thing we're going to do is drain the pool below the skimmer, okay? The way we do that is to turn off the filter system, set your filter to backwash, set the valves to the main drain so that way, you're, that way you're pulling water from the main drains at the bottom of the deep end and turn your filter on. Let that backwash until the sight glass is clear enough that you can see through or about two minutes. Then shut off your filter system, turn the, the multi-port valve to waste, turn it back on and let it run and drain your pool below the skimmer. Just about a few inches below the skimmer will do just fine. The next thing we're going to do, now that the pool has been drained, is blow out the lines. Again, I want to stress, if you feel uncomfortable doing this part, please hire a professional to come out and blow out your lines. Especially if you have tricky things like a fountain or a heater, it can be really difficult to do. What you're going to need is an air compressor, a shop vac, or an air blower. One of those three things, or a combination of the three things, will blow out both your skimmer line or your suction side and your pressure side, all the return valves. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Remove all the return fittings and skimmer baskets. Then, remove all the drain plugs from your filter system. Set the multi-port valve to recirculate. Set the valve in front of your pump to the skimmer line. Attach the air compressor to the drain opening on your pump and turn it on. This will move air through your skimmer and return lines. Starting with the skimmer, Use a shop vac to remove the water that's being blown out so that the skimmer is dry. Then, plug it up. Go around and plug up all the return lines. Lastly, turn the valve in front of your pump to the main drain setting to move air that way. You should see bubbles come up from the center of the deep end. Let that run for about a minute. Turn the valve back to the skimmer port and shut off the air compressor. It's good practice to put a plug inside of the pump in case the valve leaks. Once that's all done, all of your lines in your pool should be free of any water. The next thing we're gonna do is add winter chemicals to your pool. I recommend you go to your local pool supply store and buy a winter closing kit for your size pool. Now that you've added the chemicals, the last thing you wanna do is close it up. That means throwing the winter cover on. This pool we have a winter safety cover, but if you don't have a safety cover, you can use a plastic winter cover for your pool and use water bags to secure it to the deck. So that's all you need to know how to close your in-ground pool. It's about five or six big steps and you're done. It can take a couple of hours and it's definitely easier with a friend to help you out. So if you have any questions about closing your in-ground pool, you can ask us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash swimuniversity. And of course, you can visit our website, swimuniversity.com. And thanks for watching. That's how we do it, son. Yeah. Yeah. That is how we do it, son.